Riders are paying ultra high ride share prices and drivers are not getting their cut. If you have taken an Uber or a Lyft recently, you may have noticed higher prices. And 7 News on your side wanted to find out why the prices are so high. Our why? Tom Rise is live at Reagan National Airport. With that, plus Tell what you can why. do to try and cut down on the prices. Tom? Yeah, Jonathan, particularly for the Thanksgiving holiday yeah. over the next week, a lot of folks are going to be taking Ubers and Lyfts either to get to and from the airport here or a lot of other places. Those prices way higher than this time last year. But here's a little information on how maybe you can save some money. As we approach the holiday season, prices for rideshare apps like Uber and Lyft are at near record highs in the D.C. area. Both companies tell 7 News they're trying to attract more drivers, but for now, rider demand has outpaced the number of drivers they have. They're kind of letting the, the market determine the price, and, and I think that means that unless more drivers come online, you can't necessarily expect the prices to go down. Exactly. Peter Martin with research firm Yipit Data shared average trip prices for the D.C. area with 7 News. In October 2019, pre-pandemic, a ride cost a little over 15 bucks. After going up the following summer, it had dropped back to almost the same price last October. But this year, prices shot up, hitting a record of more than $19 in July. And last month, it was still $18.88 around here. And that's just the average. We found that certain times are a lot busier and your prices are, are more prone to surge. We asked Martin if he had advice on how to avoid the highest prices. Certain apps allow you to schedule rides in advance and you might be able to lock we in don't a schedule price for three, if you do four, that. Five, in addition six, to that, other dollars. advice we found includes avoiding the very busiest times like weekend nights and rush hour. Also, sometimes it helps to walk a few blocks away if you're in a crowd of people waiting for ride shares. Now, one other thing you can try, not as many folks use traditional taxis anymore, but sometimes they taxis, have competitive baby. prices and lower prices than Uber and Lyft. Reported. It's promoting taxis, this dude, right? So there you go, riders. You're being screwed over. The guy was kind enough to give you a couple of little indicators on how to save money. But the bottom line is Uber and Lyft are shafting you. And I'll tell you what, why don't you ask your driver what he or she got out of your trip. You will be astonished. You'll be surprised to find out that a driver, your driver is getting a fraction of your ultra high prices. Have a great day. Travel safe over Thanksgiving. And please tip your driver well. Thank you.